tire's brakes are squeaking, stay tuned. Because today I'm going to show you how to fix squeaky brakes on your car. Now, of course, the first thing you have to figure out if it's the front or the rear that are squeaking. So have somebody stick their head out the window while you're driving to see if it's the front or the back that's squeaking. Now, in this case, it's the back brake, so let's pull off the wheel and check. So we'll pull off the wheel and check it. Now, just get a big hammer and tap the drum a little, and it should come right off. Now, we'll check the brake shoes, and they're still pretty thick. They're not worn down to the metal, so they're fine. And when we squeeze the end of the wheel cylinder, they're not wet with fluid, so that's not leaking. It's okay. But when we look inside the brake drum, we'll see it's kind of scored and it's all shiny. So in this case, all that's needed is to take these drums in and have them resurfaced. So now you can also buy new ones, but they can be relatively expensive, and most places only charge 10 bucks or so to resurface them. And since the shoes aren't worn much, we can use some sandpaper and lightly sand it around to get the glaze off the pad. That'll rough it up so when we put the resurfaced drum on, it won't squeak anymore because the shoes will be clean too. They won't be all shiny. Now let's say you have a newer car and the front disc brakes are squeaking. Well, the same basic principles apply. If the discs are too shiny, they can squeak and you can get them turned or replaced. But here's an important tip for most modern cars. Most modern cars come with ceramic brake pads on them already. So if you put a cheaper non-ceramic brake pad on any new car when you do a brake job, they'll often squeak like mad. So be sure to use ceramic brake pads on any modern car when you're doing a brake job. Because the last thing you want on your shiny new car is squeaky brakes. So the next time your car's brakes start squeaking, fix it yourself. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com.